how to use Confluence tutorial for beginners. So let's get started. So this is what we call Confluence. And in order for you to start, of course, you have to get it for free. You have to tap the get free button. And then it will take you to another page. And then here, all you have to do is to simply, you know, answer this one, like create knowledge in knowledge base. Select here what best describes the work your team does. For example, product management. And then you can copy this link and then share it to other people. Or you can enter the email address of the people and share this project with them. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. And this is the interface of Confluence. So anyways, what is this Confluence I'm talking about? If you've used management software like Jira, Bitbucket, Trello, or others, you might be asking what Confluence is. One of the Atlas Asian's well-known software product is Confluence. Confluence named after the point where two or more weavers converge is a perfect fit to businesses that handle big projects involving individuals from several department teams and even geographical regions. Employees may maintain all project related information in one location with Confluence. So this is the interface of Confluence. As you can see above, we can see here options like home and under home, we can see these features like overview, recent, start, draft, task. Okay, and then below we have here the spaces that you have created. So we have seen the overview. Now let's go on to recent. Obviously, under recent, you will see here your recent projects or task. So if you want to edit something or look for something on your recent job, just go to recent. Start here. You can see and find those specific pages that you have created. You can filter them and you can go to the search bar to find a specific page that you have created. Drops. If you have created a page and you haven't finished it yet, you can see it under this drop. And then here we have task and obviously all the assigned tasks assigned to yourself and created by others. You can see it right here. Okay. And then we have your spaces. If you want to create a new space, just tap this plus icon and you can now create space. If you want to create blank for team documentation, knowledge base, software project, project management, IT product management, marketing, design, customer support, finance, legal, and so on. Okay, so all you have to do is to add a name for your new space here, permission, additional options if you want, and once done, that's it. Okay, so here are your previous or your spaces. So if you want to edit your space or if you want to add something to your space, all you have to do is to tap, tap that one. Okay, so going back to home, again, this is the interface of home. If you want to see the following or if you want to explore, like if you want to invite people, you just have to click this invite people, okay? And then also if you want to follow, all you have to do is to click this follow. And if you want to unfollow, you just have to click the spaces right here, okay? And follow and follow people. Everything is up to you. Okay, so let's go to reset. Obviously, if you tap this recent, Beside home, you will see this all work on created by me. Okay. So all of the pages or projects created by you, you can see it right here, start, but I haven't created anything and drafts and finished pages. So I can see it right here. And then we have your spaces. You will see or view all spaces that you have created. And if you want to create a new space, just click this create a space right here. Okay, that's how simple it is. So that's how you see everything under home recent spaces. For teams, and then if you want to create a team or if you have your team already, if you want to create a project, and then if you want to add people to that project, all you have to do is to simply add people to Confluence. You can add them or add from Google, Slack, Microsoft. You can also invite them and you can give access to these people. Everything is up to you. Okay. And then we have here under teams. Okay. We have here create a team. So if you want to create a team, tap this one, create your team, name of your team, invite people to your teams, add their email address, and then anyone can join without approval so that it would be a less hassle for you and create a team. And then we have here apps. Okay. So we have your automation. Okay. And calendars. 
Below, we have here popular applications, okay, manage apps, view app requests. So if you tap this automation right here, it will take you directly to admin tools, automation. Here, what you're going to do is to just simply organize it, okay, or add this one. As you can see, if you want to add automation that is all about organizing, then you can select it from here. If you want to add automation about cross product, then you just have to scroll on and select from any of this here, which you think is, you know, useful for your project or for your task. If you want about collaborating or if you want something that is all about how to notify people, something like that, you just have to scroll down and then click this one to add it to your task or even to your team's project. And then on the apps, you will see here also about monitoring, mission control, audit log, gay okay, admin tools, Atlas Asian administration. So if you want to, you know, see these features, for example, we have your audit log, you just have to go to this section right here. Now, if you want to create an announcement, go to banners. Here you can create a tile for your announcement. You can change uh, the color. Okay, if you can set this to, if you want to set this to public or private, just have to tap this right here and also start date, start time and date and time and click publish. Under user management, you will see here administration. Okay, and then here you can see also like users, groups, manage accounts. If you want to invite users, everything is up to you or edit something here. Below we have here groups. Okay, and then if you want to create a group, you just have to tap this button, create group. If you want to search by group name, you just have to go to the search bar right here. We have here building, okay, which also you can see above. We have here uh, configuration, so you can tap each to explore. For example, if you want to edit something under general configuration, just tap that one for further configuration. You can tap that. If you want to change your language, you just have to click languages and change your language right here. We have here shortcut links and then other features that you can explore. Okay, we have also security and data management, look and feel, and then marketplace. So above, on the right side, you will see your notification. You will be alert with whatever new activity here on Confluence. If you encounter some problems or conflicts, you just have to click this question mark. Look for any article here that can help you solve your problem. If you tap the secure icon, it will take you directly to the settings. And this is what I showed you earlier. Okay, so if you want to change something under your settings, you just have to tap the secure icon. If it's at your profile, then you will see the fellow features here. Okay, so if you change the theme, then you can just click this theme right here. And then aside from that, you can see your profile. If you want to change your profile right here, like your job title, your organization, your contact, you just have to go to your profile. Okay, so that's it. That's what you can see under your profile. So if you want to create all you have to do to tap this create and then this time we have to create a page give this page a tile okay everything is up to you and then after that you can add header image you just have to tap the twine and you will see samples of image here and that you can add to your page okay so you just have to choose so this is what it looks like it looks like a diary or a project or a task actually so if you want to add emoji, just go to emoji and select any available emojis right here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now to start, you can simply start something by just adding or answering the slash icon right here. And it will give you some options like action item, image, a video, a mention, emoji, AI Atlas Asian, table, status, expand. Okay, and other features right here that you can add so that you can create a good project for you, for your personal use or for your team. Okay, so as you can see, I have added a table right here. Okay, so you can design, you can add more like image, video, you can add people so that they can see also your work. 
Okay, and then other features also you can add. All you have to do is to simply type slash and then you will see the options right here. Above, you will see the format tools and then you can change your text and change everything here, your color. You can add URL and other things. Once done, click publish. Okay, and you also can copy the link after you publish this one. Okay, and then here you can set this uh, or you can let anyone have access to the space. Everything is up to you. Then once you're done with this, then click publish and that's it. That's how easy it is to use this confluence. If you found this video helpful, simply leave a like below or subscribe because it helps me reach more people. See you soon.